world that can be crazy, loud, overwhelming, and often painful. Our church, this group, wants you to know that we are glad that you are here, right here, right now. This is what we've all been waiting for. Get ready, because we start in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, what's up, Freedom Church youth? This is your pastor, Pastor Troy Wynn Sr. And listen, I also want to welcome those of you that are not members of our church, but you are being blessed by our youth ministry via Facebook and Instagram uh, and the band app. I just want to thank you for joining us. This is part two of Where the Money Resides, Where the Money Resides, Where the Money Resides. That's right, that's right. We are talking about college degrees that pay extremely well. This is for all of our college students and college-minded students who want to go to college, have decided to go to college, but have not quite decided on what they want to major in. And we have an understanding that if you're going to go to college, it just makes sense to get a degree that's going to pay, as opposed to getting a degree that looks good on the wall, but doesn't do anything for your bank account. So last week we gave you five, and man, I just got to pause. And first of all, tell you guys thank you for your response. You guys really appreciated me doing what I did last week and me coming back and doing it again this week, just giving you information. I have young people that are grateful and thankful because they don't have a father in their life or in their home that has ever talked to them about college degrees, about what college degrees pay. So they're like, man, you just don't know how much this means to me just to have the information uh, and just to have you open up my mind to other career fields that I never even thought of. Now, for me, that makes it worth a milli right there, right off the rip. Last week, we talked about the finance degree. We talked about the actuarial science degree. We talked about an architectural engineering degree. We talked about the physics degree. And then we talked about the food science degree. And I had so many people tell me, man, they didn't even know that existed. So, man, I'm thinking that's like super, super, super cool. And again, the reason why we're doing this is because if you're going to go to college, it pays to know which degrees are in high demand and which degrees can lead to a lucrative career. I know far too many people who did not have this information and maybe did not do the research and they wind up getting a degree, graduating from college, only to discover that the degree that they had in their hand, there was no demand or very little demand and some realize that even though they got a job in the field of their degree, the pay was nothing like what they thought it was going to be. So tonight I'm going to give you five more. I want to expand your thinking. I want to stretch your mind to what's possible for you. And I want to toss these amazing careers. And this is 2021 data. Amazing careers for 2021 and going forward. Number six is the petroleum engineering degree petroleum engineering degree. Catch this, the average salary for a petroleum engineering degree is $102,000. Okay, somebody needs to holler at me real quick. $102,000. Wow. To $176,000. Now, somebody ought to get interested in petroleum. The petroleum engineering degree is one of the most lucrative degrees that you young people, and I need you to think inclusively. Far too many of you will eliminate yourself from things like this and degrees like this because you think it's without, uh, outside of your grasp. It's not outside of your grasp. You can be a petroleum engineer. Making $102,000 a year to $176,000 a year. Now, let me explain to you what petroleum engineers do so you can kind of get a feel if this is the feel that you want to find yourself pursuing a degree and a career in. Petroleum engineers 
work to design methods and they work to design equipment for the extraction of oil and gas that's located in reservoirs beneath or below the Earth's surface. That's what petroleum engineers do. Now, they are important individuals. That's why they're paid a great deal because they're extracting oil and they're extracting gases from beneath and below the Earth's surface so that we can have the benefit of all of these things in the everyday world that we live in. Petroleum engineers may also specialize in different areas, including the completions, working on building wells, drilling, determining the safest and most efficient drilling procedures based on where they're drilling, production, monitoring the production of built wells and reservoirs, and determining how much gas or how much oil can actually be extracted from a deposit. A student who selects this major needs to be ready to expect a high intensity program featuring a diverse collection of classes, including engineering, economics, and environmental studies. Now, if you felt something leap in your spirit, if you felt your mind say, hey, that kind of interests me, then I need you to make a mental note of this and I need you to do your own research and maybe begin to plot your path to getting this wonderful, lucrative degree. I want you to know also that if you have a good background in math and the sciences, this may be the best college degree for you. Now, I want to tell you right off the rip, your work may require frequent travel to drilling sites, but for $102,000 to $176,000 a year, that's a job worth traveling for, don't you think? And that is the petroleum engineering degree. Now, number seven, where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides. Here's number seven, young people. Here's number seven. It's called the Electronics and Communications Engineering Degree. Again, the Electronics and Communications Engineering Degree. Average salary, $64,000 to $113,000. $64,000 to $113,000. Good money. Now, here's what I want you to think. I want you to think automobile and aircraft controls. To give you an idea of what this career and job will entail, I want you to think mobile devices. I want you to think medical instruments. I want you to think about radio and satellite communications or GPS devices. This is what the electronics and communications engineering degree will have you working on. The electronics and communication engineers, they focus on the design and the development. I need you to get that. Design and development of new and improved user technology. So you're kind of one of those creative individuals that's going to really be uh, hands-on as it relates to creating the different gadgets and different knobs and the different things that we use in this world uh, from a technological perspective. This career also involves analyzing customers' needs because you will take that data based on what customers need and you will create the various products to meet the need that the customers are desiring. You'll also be involved with designing individual components. Like I said, different knobs, different gadgets, different buttons for different things. You'll also be responsible for evaluating entire systems. Yeah. Or developing maintenance procedures and performing the necessary tests and inspections to ensure top technical performance. Your work typically takes place in an office with occasional travel to on-site locations depending on specific industry requirements. And that's the electronics and communications engineering degree. Again, that salary is an average salary of $64,000 to $113,000. Where the money resides, where the money resides. Okay, here's number eight. Number eight, and I want you guys to open your mind because I'm going to throw this out here. And I don't want any young person 
to disqualify themselves simply because of the way it sounds or simply because it may be something you've never thought about. I'm showing you where the money resides if you're going to get a college degree. This is a well-kept secret. It's really public knowledge, but we just don't talk about it a lot. And we certainly don't talk about this one a lot in the black community. That's what I'm here for. Here it is, number eight, aviation management. What? Yeah, you heard me, aviation management. Did you know that there's some real good money in aviation management? Now, this is not you flying an airplane, okay? Relax, relax, relax. This is you doing something that's related though to aircraft. Let me hit you with the money. Let me hit you with the figures. Let me hit you with the digits. Cha-ching. Here we go. Average salary for an aviation management degree. Y'all ready for this? Give me a drum roll. 48000 to $90,000 a year. Say what? That's right. 48000 Woo. To 90000 Woo. Woo. A year. That's where the money resides. Now, let me break it down for you. An aviation management professional, they may work in an airline company office. Or with this particular degree, aviation management degree, you may be working on the ground at airports, handling administrative services, including employee relations, staff scheduling, budget management, and aircraft maintenance planning. In addition to being responsible for, you know, the day-to-day -day operations, an aviation manager also ensures, this is very important, adherence to federal government guidelines concerning safety and labor. So this is a very important job because the person that does that job is making sure that people are flying safely, arriving at their destination, your job is extremely important. You're also dealing with the people who are running the airports and running the airlines. Major job, major job. Now, I got to tell you, this particular degree may require immediate responses and quick decision making regarding emergency situations, inclement weather, or issues with aircraft or personnel. So in this particular degree, with this particular degree, in this particular position, you got to be able to make quick decisions and you got to be able to make the right decision quickly. You got to be somebody who doesn't panic in the heat of the moment, but someone who has a level head. So if you're somebody who already has a level head when everybody else is panicking and, and freaking out, God has given you the, the gift of stability where you can continue to think clearly in the midst of chaos. This may be an excellent opportunity for you. The aviation management, it pays well. But I got to be honest with you, it comes with a heavy set of responsibilities requiring individuals to possess strong leadership, organizational skills, analytical skills, and communication skills. This is why I'm always encouraging our youth to pick up wherever you can, whenever you can, information, data about being a strong leader. Much of this can be gained and garnered from watching strong leaders. I teach the power of observation, which I really think is an underutilized ability that we all have. It's the ability to learn by watching. It's the mindset that says, pay attention. Watch how that person leads. Watch how they enter a room. Watch how they organize events. Watch how they strategize in the midst of chaos. By simply watching, you can learn through observation what a strong leader looks like. And sometimes I don't think we connect the dots to the things that we see every day growing up and how one day we will find ourselves in similar situations. And because we paid attention, will be able to navigate those difficult situations and kind of lead people who need a leader. Why? Because we paid attention when we were in the presence of a strong leader. Organizational skills is also very, very, very important. So when your mom says or your dad says, clean your room, you think that's a nuisance. But in reality, your ability to clean your room, keep your room 
organized, keep your things organized, could literally translate into a six-figure job one day because there are many organizations outside of the aviation management field that are always looking for people with strong organizational skills. Now, the analytical skill is a different kind of skill. Some of you may already have it. It's the ability to look at something and figure it out. You can look at something that is in disarray, analyze it, and come up with a solution for it. You can look at different systems, or should I say the way that things are being done, and your mind automatically comes up with a better way, a smarter way, a more organized way to get it done. That's an analytical mind. You are a thinker. You're a thought processor that can translate into some real money. Also, one of the most important skills on the planet Earth, one of the most important skills that really is applicable in every field, every degree, no matter what you do in life, and it's called the communication ability. The ability to communicate is tremendous, but it's also grossly becoming a lost art. With the advent of technology and uh, us texting and tweeting and posting, oftentimes we don't realize that we're reducing our communication skills to words that are abbreviated through signs and symbols and emojis, which are all fine in the realm of communication as it relates to technology. But you need to recognize that you're going to have to be able to use your mouth. And your mouth is going to have to be connected to a mind that is intelligent, a mind that is strong, a mind that is analytical, and a mind that can communicate these things to those who you are in charge of leading, in charge of helping, or in charge of guiding. Communication skills are major. And I will tell you this, communication skills can get you paid. I am extremely thankful that I am gifted with the gift of communication. What most people don't realize though is, it's a gift that I had to work at. There was a time in my life where I could not stand and speak in front of a group of people. There was a time in my life that when I spoke or did a speech or something, I looked down at the floor. There was a time in my life that I had no confidence in what was going to come out of my mouth. But through a lot of hard work, a lot of self-education, a lot of personal development, I begin to build myself up. I begin to recognize that I have a voice that has a great deal of power and that I could use that voice to help other people achieve their dreams and their goals. And I begin to push myself. I begin to practice the sound of my voice and enunciating various words and increasing my vocabulary and reading a plethora of literature so that when I open my mouth, I have something to say. I'm telling you that if you are a young person, I don't care what your age is, start now to work on your communication skills. Don't give short answers all the time. Yeah, uh-huh, what? Mm -mm. Press yourself to articulate what you're thinking, articulate what you're feeling, and to assemble together sentences and paragraphs that when you speak them, people understand you with great clarity. And people understand that when you open your mouth, they are listening to someone who is educated and someone who is destined for greatness. Aviation management is a field, it's a career, it's a degree that I strongly encourage you to take a look at. Again, the average salary is $48,000 to $90,000. Where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides. Y'all see the money falling down? Y'all like the money falling down? Yeah, one of my young folks told me they love, they love the money falling down. We try to get the money falling down in your bank account. 
We're going to get the money falling down in your life by guiding you, if you're going to go to college, into these amazing degrees uh, that lead to amazing careers that most of you have never heard of. All right, here's number nine. Number nine. You guys are going to like this one. I love this one because this is really, it's really a great one, and it's not one that a lot of kids know about. It's called construction management. Number nine is construction management. You say, well, construction management, what is that, Pastor? Well, before I tell you what it is, let me tell you what the average salary is. The average salary in the field of construction management is $54,000 to $89,000. It's actually $89,900, so you might as well say $90,000. Yeah, that's good money. Somebody say amen to that. Yeah, here's what uh, this particular degree, construction management, uh, entails. General contractors, sometimes called project managers, they hold the reins in a construction project from start to finish. These are the people, men and women, and I need to, I need to say this, that there are plenty of construction management individuals. There are plenty general contractors. There are plenty project managers that are females. They're not enough, but there are some who are doing extremely well, mind you. So I, when my when I say construction and construction management and general contractors and project managers, I do not want our young ladies to think I'm just talking to the boys or the young men. No, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. Sister girl, young queen, this is the field that you can get in and make some good money, have an amazing career, and you be responsible for holding the reins in a construction project from start to finish. You're the overseer. You make sure that everything is built to spec. Now what is spec? Spec means it's built the way it was supposed to be built. You're making sure that everybody is doing their job in a timely manner and they're doing it correctly and properly. Now these professionals begin their work by preparing preliminary costs estimates. What does that mean? That means you got to be able to look at a project and you got to be able to tell the powers that be what that project is going to cost. You have to have a lot of knowledge about construction. You also have to create timetables. How long is it going to take for this project to be built from start to finish? And then you have to be able to create and prepare budgets. Budgets for the various components and the various things that have to be done on a work site. Depending on the project, you may consult with architects, you may consult with engineers, or you may consult with other specialists during the initial stages. Why? Because you're trying to gather all of the best minds, the people that have the wisdom and the knowledge to make sure that what you say is going to be done, it's going to be done in the time that you said it was going to be done with the budget that you said it would take to get it done. Once those plans are finalized, construction managers select and hire subcontractors. What do they hire subcontractors for, Pastor? They hire subcontractors to complete the job while they themselves remain on site or otherwise they're easily accessible to respond to things like work delays, emergencies, and other problems that arise. So if there's an issue, there's a problem, you're the person that they call. Why? Because you're kind of like the overseer of the construction project that you are assigned to. Now, construction management requires extensive knowledge of building and safety codes. It also requires extensive knowledge of legal regulations. It also requires extensive knowledge of contract interpretations, being able to read a contract and interpreting what it means and what it says and what's, allow what's allowed and what's not allowed. And it also requires an extensive knowledge in management and leadership. Construction management is a field that you should consider. It's a field that requires someone who's very smart, someone who's very intelligent, someone who's very organized, someone who is able to look and see something from a visionary perspective. In other words, you can see something that is not, but based on what is being described, based on the blueprint, 
based on what is desired. You can imagine it and you can envision it and you know how to bring all of the pieces and all of the people together to create and bring that thing into fruition. Or should I say manifestation? Or should I say reality? Again, the construction management degree will net you $54,000 to $89,000 a year. And that's average salary. And then last but not least, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Again, I'm expanding your mind. I'm showing you that you can be more than a football player and a basketball player. Nothing wrong with that, but everybody's not going to the NFL. Everybody's not going to the NBA. Everybody's not going to the MLV. Everybody's not going to the NHL. Okay? Just not. So, if you're one that's not going into those particular careers, sports and athletics, then you need to open your mind to the possibilities that there are other amazing things that you can do for a living and make good money and have an amazing life just by opening your blinders just a little bit wider. Now, number 10 is one I'm excited to share with you because it's, it's not one that I have ever heard a whole lot shared about or talked about as it relates to introducing young students to this particular career field. It is called cyber security. Cyber security is a lucrative field that if you are interested, you love technology, you love the inner workings and the behind the scene things that make technology go, then this may be the field for you. This might be the degree that you want to pursue. Cyber security. You say, I'm not sure if I'm interested in cybersecurity. How much does it pay? I'm so glad you asked. The starting median salary in cybersecurity, give me another drum roll, is $75,000. Whoa. Starting median salary is $75,000. Are you interested now? You should be. Yeah, that's a nice place to start. Cybersecurity is extremely lucrative. How about the mid-career salary? And I told you mid-career means 10 years experience or more. After you've been in this field for 10 years or more, your pay takes a quantum leap. The mid-career salary as a cybersecurity individual is $116,000. Ooh, cha ching, $116,000. And it gets better. This particular degree, this particular career field has a projected future growth of 28%. In other words, this field isn't getting smaller. This field and the opportunities and the jobs and the needs in this field are going to grow by 28%. Why? Because we are becoming a technology-based society. We are becoming a technology-based society, which means we need people who can protect our technological infrastructures. A bachelor's in cyber security can be a huge advantage for some of you young people. Now, this major will ensure that you are knowledgeable about two things more than anything. Number one, coding. And number two, software development. You will have to study these particular areas and have a decent understanding of coding and software development, but it'll be worth your time. A person who has studied cybersecurity will most likely end up working in cybersecurity for a business or government entity. But listen, that isn't the only potential career path for graduates with this college major. Software and application development, woo, is where the money really resides. Along with several other information, technology, and technology-related jobs. These are very popular options for someone who completes this top college major. Cybersecurity is one of the best degrees you can get. Let me pause and slow down because I need somebody to grab this and say, you know what? That's me right there, Pastor. 
cybersecurity is one of the best degrees you can get and you can earn this is I, this is almost too good to be true but I'm going to share it with you you can earn your bachelor's in this major entirely online what yeah a lot of the other degrees I just told you about you can't earn them entirely online some of the classes you can take online but some of the classes you're going to have to go to an institution physically but this particular degree that pays a starting salary of $75,000 and then after 10 years or more experience you can expect to earn $116,000 this degree this entire degree this bachelor's degree in this major can be achieved 100% online now somebody needs to say where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yeah, I don't care what nobody's saying. That's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now, that's all I'm going to give you for this particular episode. I'm hoping that I'm giving you something that expands the possibilities of what you're capable of achieving as a young adult when you graduate from college. For those of you that have decided to go to college, listen, I want to point you in the right direction so that when you graduate, with a degree. It is a degree that is in high demand and it's also a degree that pays you lucratively. Listen, when that happens, don't forget me. Remember the guy who took some time out of his schedule to point you in the right direction so that you could acquire one of these phenomenal degrees and have an amazing career doing things that matter, doing things that are important, but also doing things that allow you to live the kind of life you want to live and to take care of those that you love. Well, this is Pastor Troy Wynn, Sr., Senior Pastor of the Freedom Church, hitting you guys with where the money resides, college degrees that pay extremely well. This is our Freedom Church youth ministry, reaching youth all over the world, helping them make quality decisions about their life, about their future, and about their career. Have a blessed day. Until I holler at you the next time. God bless you. Hear the music. This is what I want y'all to do for me.